A man steps on a mine without knowing it. As soon as I turned around, Mike rushed forward to rescue, but he just stepped out. Just hear a click. I even step on a mine myself. He suddenly froze in place. I did not make any further moves. Otherwise they will be blown up like their comrades in arms. Wait until the smoke clears. He just saw the situation ahead clearly. My comrade is not dead. It's about being blown apart and breaking both legs. The scene was extremely tragic, but he also stepped on a mine himself, unable to move. The only thing we can do is to constantly calm the emotions of our comrades in arms, let him calm down, and guide him to take a sedative from his medical bag and inject himself, but even so, his wound is still bleeding continuously, it won't be long before he dies from excessive bleeding, the immense mental pressure and pain caused comrades to completely collapse, he doesn't want to implicate Mike, after keeping him alive, so I gave myself a good time, watching my comrades die tragically, and I couldn't rescue myself, Mike's heart aches uncontrollably, but he had to force himself to calm down, trying to think about ways to get out of trouble, to confirm if you really stepped on a mine. He slowly extended his arms, control and balance the right leg, move back bit by bit, try to maintain the strength of your left foot as constant as possible, until the right knee hits the ground, form a stable semi-kneeling position, his tense nerves finally relaxed, subsequently, he pulled out a dagger, insert the sand under your feet, after hearing a metallic sound, basically, it can be confirmed without a doubt, but in this deserted desert, the scorching sun combined with a lack of water and food, it will dehydrate in a few hours, moreover, there is a landmine that could explode at any time under his feet, this is the radio in the comrade's backpack, show him a glimmer of hope, so he quickly untied the shoelaces and gun laces, tied to a small axe, trying to hook the backpack over, but he can't grasp the position of taking the knee, force, multiple attempts were unsuccessful, I can only take the risk of getting up and trying again, but he just pulled out the rope, the body loses its center of gravity, almost fell to the ground, fortunately, in the end I caught my backpack without any danger, what he didn't expect was, the radio is running out of power, and the battery is on the comrade's body, fortunately, there is a solar charging panel in the comrade's backpack, after a period of exposure to sunlight, the radio finally has a response, he immediately issued a request for help to headquarters, I thought the headquarters would send bomb disposal experts to take care of the evacuation, but the response from headquarters made him even more desperate and tormented, due to sandstorms, helicopter unable to reach, but there is a combat convoy at border, if everything goes smoothly, it will pass his position in 52 hours, waiting motionless for 52 hours in place, it's not easy to talk about, but as a soldier, even if there is a glimmer of vitality, I won't give up easily either, hence, he took out dry food to replenish his strength, but when he drinks water, only then did I realize that the water bag had bottomed out, there is no water source in the hot desert, it's like sentencing to death, what's even more deadly is that, a huge sandstorm, coming at him with a fierce force, he didn't have time to think carefully, immediately take out a scarf from your backpack to cover your mouth and nose, to prevent being blown away by sandstorms, he picked up his backpack, increase one's own weight, insert the sniper gun into the sand with your left hand as a fulcrum, right hand fixed with a dagger, this forms a stable triangular structure, when a sandstorm strikes, he tried to lean his body forward as much as possible, push your hands backwards, close your eyes tightly, hang the head, maintaining a peak position, allow the merciless beating of the yellow sand in the sky, he gritted his teeth tightly, not daring to slack off a bit, fortunately, the sandstorm did not last long, Mike also relied on his tenacious perseverance, narrowly avoided a disaster, when he regained his composure, suddenly discovered that the body of his comrade had been blown to his side by a sandstorm, and he also happened to get the radio battery from his comrade, but when he was about to replace the battery for the radio, discovered that the radio had been blown to the other side by a sandstorm, no radio, it will mean that he has completely lost contact with headquarters, even in 52 hours, the combat convoy arrived here, I can't find his exact location either, after a few more hours, he has been sunburned and dizzy, the water obtained from comrades was also consumed, now he is at the end of his tether, run out of ammunition and food, wanna wait for rescue, it's almost like a fool talking about a dream, the immense mental pressure destroyed the last glimmer of hope for survival in his heart, so he pulled out his pistol, when I planned to settle myself, suddenly I saw a negress passing in the distance, Mike decisively sent out a request for help to him, watching the black men stride towards him, Mike hurry up and remind the black people, this is a minefield, but black people are not afraid, instead, he was walking in a zigzag pattern towards him, after Mike shared his experiences with him, but the black man made him brave enough to take a step forward, yes, seeing Mike refuse to move, the black man helped him retrieve the radio and turned around to leave, and tell him again when we leave, just take one step forward, Mike is very depressed, knowing he's stepping on a mine, and let oneself step forward, obviously trying to kill oneself, soon night fell, he dare not rest, afraid of losing balance after falling asleep, detonate a mine, I can only peruse my girlfriend's photos to perk up my spirits, unexpectedly, a roar suddenly came from around, he has been targeted by the wolf pack, and the bodies of our comrades were also dragged away, and the panic, he quickly pulled out his pistol and started shooting, after all the bullets have been shot, the wolf pack hasn't dispersed either, instead he pounced even more fiercely, bite him in the calf with one bite, and then other wild wolves flocked up as well, bite both of his arms separately, nevertheless, Mike still hasn't compromised or given up, alone and fighting with wild wolves, in the end he survived again with a strong will, and the wolves that attacked him have all died, even more noteworthy is that, there are only 7 hours left until the rescue arrives, seeing oneself about to break through the end of darkness and welcome a new life, unexpectedly, the news from the radio once again plunged him into the abyss, the receiving convoy changed its route in a firefight, 
delay the arrival time to 17 hours later, this news is like a bolt from the blue, make him completely collapse, and he won't be able to endure another 17 hours, just because he's completely disillusioned, when I'm about to lose it, suddenly, there was a hallucination, slowly raising walls around, reminds him of when he saw his parents arguing when he was a child, he just wanted to come forward, and dissuade him, it's like stepping on a mine, make him dare not take another step forward, seeing my girlfriend being teased, he just wanted to come forward, and teach the other party a lesson, it's like stepping on a mine, let him stop his steps, while my mother was lying on her deathbed, he wants to come up and see his mother, but stop because of guilt, because of his cowardice, when encountering something, always afraid to take a crucial step, fortunately, after waking up, he finally waited for rescue, but the size of the desert, I couldn't find his position to pick up the convoy, the only hope now is for him to ignite this signal stick to tell his teammates the location, but the signal stick is two meters away from me without taking a step, I can't even get it, watching the convoy go further and further, in the end he decided to take a brave step forward, even if my legs are blown apart, at least there's a chance of survival, but once you miss it, rescue, will surely die, however, when he musters the courage to prepare for the worst, after taking steps, this accident caught him off guard, sitting flat on the ground, after a while, he just regained his composure, I immediately decided to take a look at this mine that has trapped me for nearly 60 hours, why didn't it explode, but when he dug it up, he was momentarily dumbfounded, it's just a drink can, this scene is both absurd and funny, both fortunate and fearful, after calming down my good mood, Mike decisively pulled off the signal stick, eventually discovered by the reception team, successfully rescued,